So this is the rangefinder. This is everything you get out of the box. So you get a hard shell case, and then you get the user manual. Definitely take a look at it, a lot of good information. Then you get a magnetic clip that you can clip to your pocket or whatever you want. You get a little carabiner. So this clip will hook onto this little flap back here. You hook it on, you can hook it onto something. And then you get a lens wipe, and you also get a USB-C to USB-A cable. You have to supply your own power brick or power supply, but they do provide the cable. Now inside of the case, you actually get the rangefinder. So on this side is the magnet. So like I said, you get the clip, put it on here, and it's not going anywhere. So you can clip, jump, run, whatever. It's gonna stay on there. You just gotta give it a little power and pull it off. Now, on this side, you have the USB port. The flap covers it up to keep dust and water out. And then here you have the eyepiece. You can adjust this for focus. You can see the lens go up and down inside. I know it's hard to see that way. Now, flipping over this side, you have slope. So yellow is off, green is on. And then also on the front, you have the eyepiece and then you have the laser. And then on top, you have the power button. And this also uses it to hold off. And then this is also for the scan. And then this is for modes. You have four different modes. So I don't butcher it. Let me uh, tell you what they are. So the first one is a general mode for distance. Next one, uh, second is for golf. Third is for bow hunting. And then the fourth is for speed measurement. So if something's running, you can get the speed of it. So those were all four modes. So with that said, I'm gonna to try to give you a look inside. It's gonna be a little hard, but you can see um, what's it like to look inside and then the, what the menu looks like. But with that said, let's go test it out. Testing the range finder. Uh, so what you do is you take it, you use the first button, the mode button to put it in golf mode, which would be M2. Then you press down the green power button, which allows you to the golf range distance, hold the button, pointing at the flag, and then you get the distance. So you see that the tree. There we go. Flag 117. Perfect. 